Goals, predators' goals, poachers' goals. <laughs> Definitely something you do in the park. Um, just get in in the box and get in the right areas and you know be ready for when the ball lands. And that's what I was today. Do you think they were very much needed? Because right up until your first goal and the second goal, West Ham were very much in the game. Yeah, of course they're a great side. You know, give credit to them. They've been great this year. Um, uh, we had to stay patient for the second and the third goal. When you know, like I said, we defended well when the goals came after that. How would you? I don't think the losses knocked our confidence that much. You know, we knew we were a good side. We just lost concentration for two games and we brought it back today. So hopefully we can kick on. Even if you weren't at your very best tonight as yep. a team, does that almost not matter? It was the win that was the most important thing. Of course, at the end of the day, it's all about the three points. Um, you know, some, some days you have bad games and as long as you get the win and that's what makes the top side. So, you know, we had to grind for this, for, uh, this win today and that's what we've done. Well, you certainly did. Well done, Sight. Thanks Thank you, for Abraham scored two tonight and you do flip between sometimes Olivier Giroud and Tammy Abraham. What considerations before a game, is it, a, is it the type of opponent you're playing against that determines which striker you'll pick or is it just the individual form from game to game? A, a bit of both. I think the individual form would have been a tough call on Oli, to be fair, because Oli's doing well, he's scoring goals. But um, where we do, we are playing regularly, and when you look at the opposition, they, give, they have different attributes, and I'll, I'll, I'm using it in a positive way. Um, but I just felt with the, with the idea of West Ham, we didn't know whether they'd play a back three or a back four. Um, they're very solid, they're very well organised, and, and I felt that Tammy's natural uh, ability to run behind and move them and give them a problem in that way was going to suit us today. Oli gives us so much as well and a lot of quality finishing in the box, which Tammy is improving on, as we saw tonight. So, yeah, I suppose that we, we judged it on uh, the opposition to a degree, and, and obviously Tammy came up trumps, but it's no, it's no slant on Oli because Oli produces whenever he plays, really, he gives everything. Another match tonight. I mean, we know he's, he's a legendary figure in the game, but has he done even better than what you thought coming into the Premier League at 36? I, I think so, Cara, because I, I remember playing in the Premier League at 36 and I couldn't play like he's playing. Week in, week out, I was in and out of the team and I could feel it at that stage in my career. So what I'll say is I was probably like a bit tentative and didn't know. I knew he was a top player, had been a, been a great player for a long time, but the, the pressures of the Premier League when you'd never played him, played in France for quite a long time, no disrespect. Um, but yeah, he probably has exceeded it slightly. And, um, but really, I shouldn't have probably been surprised. Now I'm working with him, I can see the, the quality, the preparation, the reading of the game. The, the desire to win headers and compete with anyone he plays against. He's, got, he's really studious about the game as well. He's clearly going to be uh, a manager or whatever he wants to be after the game. He's been, a, he's been a great addition for us on and off the pitch. Fifth, 25 points, six off the top, but only two points off second. How does that feel to you? Uh, it feels OK. I want, I want more. And I'm probably still fresh off the two defeats, to be fair, because um, the way we've been playing, I didn't, not so I didn't see that coming. You're always wearing the Premier League. Anybody can beat you That's this season more than others. Um, so we have to want more, have a desire for more, because we do want to keep pushing. So uh, the, the higher we can aim, the, 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 the more level-headed we stay after good wins and we just keep trying to improve, the better, because we've got tough games coming up over Christmas as well. Certainly have. Uh, on Boxing Day, Arsenal, does that mean you don't have Christmas Day off then? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be preparing right. And uh, <laughs> Christmas Day is pretty much off for everyone, unfortunately, isn't it, this year? It's, it looks very different. It always does for the players. But Arsenal's a tough game. You know, people might want to talk a look at Arsenal and what position they're in. For us, those tend to be the toughest of games sometimes. So we have to get ourselves right for that. It's going to be very difficult. This performance. Really good. Uh, wondered whether that come into the... I mean, you just mentioned there being 36. And it started to get me thinking about being 35, 36 and you know, how difficult it is as a defender becoming exposed. But he's clever. I thought that um, his attacking at that corner was absolutely outstanding. He, if he stays fit and plays all season, I think Chelsea will have a good season. I think they'll finish in the top four. Um, and... You know, I think we're probably the ones who maybe ourselves were intrigued to see how we were doing this league. Uh, he's he's proving that he's world class, and this idea of Brazilian centre backs and tough he's tough as hell, uh, Thiago Silva, and he, I think he will get through this season well.